Hello everyone! This is going to be a video tutorial about the TWI Deer Avatar. You can find it on Second Life. Uh, the sim is called Silent Hills. That is the TWI main sim. Uh, we're going to look at the, uh, the avatar itself. We're going to look at all of its cool features, explain how to use it, and uh, just kind of just generally show it off, like I said. I'm joined by Shades and Metal Wolf. Shades is this horrifying blob next to me, and Metal Wolf is the fancy doggo. Uh, and Shades is going to turn into a deer with me. So like I said, the main sim for TWI is called Silent Hills. You can purchase the avatar there for 3,000 linden, or you can buy it on the marketplace for a little bit extra to cover the marketplace fees. Uh, once you have purchased the avatar, you will look in your inventory and you will have an object called TWI Deer Box and then a version number. You can either res it on the ground like Shades has over here or you can right click it and hit add and it will unpack the box for you. Now once you have your unpacked deer you can go to your recent items to easily find it and you'll see you'll have TWI Deer and then the version number. You can open up the folder and you'll see you have all this cool stuff in there. But we're going to make it super easy and we're going to right click and replace current outfit. Now if you ha have an AO or you have a built in AO, I highly recommend turning it off so it doesn't affect anything weirdly. We are currently in the process of transforming into our deer. Now you'll see that we have some weird disc in our mouth and a box on us. The disc is going to be your update Oreo, which when there are updates, you'll simply wear the Oreo and you will get your updated avatar. The box is the extras box and we'll just currently detach that for now and we'll come back to it later. So as you can see, we have two beautiful buck white tailed deer. Uh, if you do not want to be a buck, you can scroll down and find at the very bottom TWI white tail deer antlers right click and detach from yourself like shades is about to do now we have a buck and a doe now just looking at the out of the box avatar you have a very high quality deer very realistic um, it's beautiful each little vertice you know the fluffs the the shape of the body it's all very realistic and just very nicely done it's a very high quality avatar definitely worth the price and it has a lot of features so the TWI deer not only comes with the full avatar itself it comes with a fully animated AO and an entire gesture HUD as well as a bunch of different coat colors markings and all sorts of fun extras so we're going to start with the expression tab to look at some of the expressive features that the avatar has. On the top corner of your screen, you'll see you have a little HUD. You can click expression to open it up. So you can raise and lower your head with these little sliders. You can turn it from left to right and back to normal. We have ear positions. We have alert and relaxed, and side, and back, and pinned. We have brow expressions, so you can have a relaxed eyebrow, you can be a little bit surprised, or sad, or stern. Oh, my deer's gonna idle for a second. There we go, he's stern. Now he's very angry. As well as the brows, you can change the um, amount of which your eye is closed or open, your eyelids, so we can have your eyes super wide, or we can change them to kind of close, even all the way if we wanted to. There's also eye dilation, where you can turn your dilation all the way up, or have it super, super tiny and kind of creepy looking. There's mouth expressions as well, with the smile, the frown, the snarl, and the super crazy smile, which I'm very happy that the creator has included. As well as expressions for the mouth, you can open and close your mouth to different degrees. And the expressions do translate over to that as well. So you can change your expression while you have your mouth open or closed. There's tongue states where you can have it blepping or down or straight 
or up, which is even better if you have your mouth mostly closed. It looks like you are licking your nose. Shades is reminding us right now about the tail features, where there is a slider where you can choose how high up your tail is. You have the flag and you have different states um, where it's further down, more down. You can have it tucked down and then you can have it all the way down. Uh, there are full face presets on the side over here. And um, these ones are useful if you don't want to spend a bunch of time trying to make your deer look angry or scared or anything. So what you do is you just click on these little facial presets and it will change a whole bunch of your deer all at once. So we have the alert look, we have the happy, we have the fearful, we have the angry, the really bored deer, and the really sad deer. You're also able to do left and right. Um, so if you click like the right and you uh, click the different parts, you can really make your deer have a very unique expression. Um, and once you get your expression the way you want it, you can click and hold where it says one, two, or three. And that will say custom expressions set. And once you click that spot, it will suddenly change to that expression. Speaking of expressions and animations, we have an entire animation HUD, which is all the gestures I was talking about. Most avatars do not come with this, and it's really special that TWI and Birdie Mart do this. We have first a bunch of AO stance animations, which you can find at the top, just to add a bit more character to your deer. We have like a really proud Bambi stance, and then like a battle stance. You have more normal stances and then kind of, you know, fearful ones where you're kind of like unsure about your surroundings. You're a little bit just just not quite sure that you're you feel too safe. And just by a click of a button, you can change your AO. Um, there is different walks and different runs, which we will cover later. As for the uh, gesture animations, uh, they're not as normal gestures in Second Life are. These are just click of a button ones, which are really unique and easy to use. Uh, so of course there is the sitting animation. And then we have laying down animations, left, center, and right. We have the different roll animations, which are left and right. We have a very cute sploot animation. Uh, if you remember, uh, I think it was Bambi where he's on the ice and he goes, whoa, and he falls down. Um, that's kind of like what that one's like. It's very cute. When you push the button again, your, your deer will uh, return back to its normal state. Uh, so if you're splooting and you push it again, he'll stand back up. We have left and right sleep. Very cute. And then we have left and right curled as well. Moving on to some of the more exciting animations, we have the green ones, which are more um, playful animations. We of course have the play, where you're bouncing up and do down for joy. We have two dance animations. Bonus points if you know uh, where these are uh, a special nod to. And then we have a bunch of derpy animations and there's no really other way to explain them than derpy. They are very, very much derpy. Um, they add that little bit extra to your, your character that everybody so desires. There are some stomping animations to alert everybody of danger. 
and they make a nice satisfying impact sound. You can use this in any pose as Shades is showing as she is sitting. Say that three times fast. Uh, if your friend's being dumb, you can just kind of, oh my gosh, you can just be like, oh no. If you're fast at clicking, you can do both at the same time. We also have uh, nodding animations, bowing the head animations, like the, I think they're called the Nara Deer in Japan, where they bow their head and then they get a treat. Just like the other TWI avatars, there are animations that move only the legs. This one is hoof and leggy. You can do one at a time, or you can do both at a time. Leggy will allow you to stick your leggy out real far. Stick both leggies out real far if you so desire. Or you could just be like shades and be very, very cute. Again, to stop a uh, looping animation, you're going to push the button again and it will stop the animation. Moving on, the blue buttons are mostly uh, things that you'll see in idols. Um, these ones will loop though, so if you want to stop them, you'll push them again. So you can lick your leg for as long as you desire. There's eat one and two. Eat number one is grazing on the ground, while eat number two is grazing leaves on trees, apples, or your friend's laundry. Deer are of course known to jump in front of cars and when they do they freeze. You can also scan the area for predators with look left and right. There are three different calls. We have a doe-like call, a more buck call, and then we have the, uh, the elk bugle. And then, of course, the elk. Now, TWI avatars um, have a lot of cool features, and the deer has a really nice one that maybe the other avatars will get updated with eventually, is when the deer barks, he is, or she, is alerting the other deer that there are predators so any other deer avatar nearby with it enabled as soon as you bark they will bark and stomp and look around as well so if i bark shades will bark as well and apparently other deer will as well um so um that's the really cool feature where you bark and the other ones will bark and stomp uh, and cause all the other deer to bark as well. <clears throat> uh, the red buttons are more aggressive. Um, they're unique where if you are wearing antlers, uh, the sounds that are included will, um, you'll get extra sounds. Um, if I charge with the antlers, you'll hear a kind of rattling sound while Shades doesn't have the sound because she doesn't have antlers. There are stomping animations that say, hey, I'm not kidding around. I'm going to I'm gonna beat you up. There are punching animations uh, and stomping where you're just, you're beating up someone. You're not putting up with their nonsense anymore. Now, if I turn towards Shades and she puts on her antlers, there we are. Let me turn my camera a little bit so we can see. Um, there are two fight animations. I will play fight number one, and Shades will play fight number two. And with the antler on, they have a really cool rattling sound. You, of course, can use the same animation if you want, but it's more realistic if both deer are moving differently. Deer also have a kicking a uh, move that they use, especially if they're being chased and they don't have time to turn around, they'll just kick. Yeah. Different versions of the kick. 
and if they sadly cannot escape from the predator, they will, of course, die. Very sad. Uh, you'll notice that I left out a couple um, of buttons. There's the ear twitch, twitch, the ear notice, the tail swish, and the lick nose. These are idle animations that you can just kind of force to go off if you want. Um, they don't need to be double clicked or anything. They're just, if you want your ear to twitch and the, the AO is not cooperating, you can just do it yourself. On the side, you'll see a big black bar. There's, of course, the lick legs, um, the eat grass, and these are the short idle versions. There's also a sniff, which sometimes will go off. There's a chewing animation where you are chewing your own cud, because I think deer are ruminants, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, and so when they eat their food, they will barf it back up and chew it some more. You got a warning hiss. And because everybody knows the meme, we have Screaming Deer. Now we'll move on to the customization uh, part of the HUD, which can look a little bit intimidating, but I promise you it's very easy. Um, when you have something selected, you'll have this little white box around it. Uh, so you can see as I'm clicking, the white box is moving. So we're going to start with the fur base. And you can tint, you can use this to tint your deer any color you want, but if you don't really like the white-tailed deer look, you can change your markings. Um, you can either purchase some, or you can use the ones that already come with the deer. Select fur base and click the arrow, and your texture will change. Now sometimes it will take a little while to load, especially if it's the first time. So we have this cool texture right here. The detail is amazing. It also has a little bit of a white tail, which is nice. It can probably be used to flag. Oh, I zoomed in a little bit far there. Sorry about that. And now we're going to change our texture again. This one's more like a, a, a fawn, which is really nice if you get the size mods, which can be purchased at the TWI sim to make like a little itty baby deer, which is very cute. have this nice brown one which I really like I think it's very nice um, it kind of has like a, a, a darker mane and then it moves down to the more gray body which is very regal and majestic and then of course this one which is I think my favorite out of all of them especially when you kind of zoom in on the eyes and you can kind of see there's a little bit of definition um, like, you can tell where the brow is, and it's just, it's very nice. Yeah. You can have a pure white skin for albino. You can also have a melanistic skin. Now, as Shades is going to demonstrate, and I will demonstrate as well, you can have different sides and different textures. So if you hit the left or right, and then you hit the texture button, all of a sudden, you now have two different textures on your deer, one on each side, which is really cool. It could be like some yin and yang duality thing. Uh, and again, you can um, use the left and right if you want, but you can also just change the entire um, deer with your little co color menu over there. There's some color presets up at the top that you can choose. Now, for those of us who, that have special, unique OCs, we usually have some pretty fancy markings. We're going to select the fur markings. I'm going to make mine red so they're easy to see. We're going to hit the arrow. And now we can have some cool extra markings for your deer. Uh, again, you can change these any color you want. You can have them different on each side. some nice spots so you can okay. be a fawn that, no matter what ab uh, what coat you're sounds, wearing forgive me if you can hear someone in the background that would be my fiance he's playing games with Let his friends I want it. he apparently wants something <laughs> uh, we have these cool stripes they're like uh, bushbuck or nyala I know shades will yell at me soon for not being correct um, we've got some cool zebra stripes, which I'll make black.
we got some nice faded texture where if you just you want to have some of the markings that already come with the coats but they're just not the right color you can change them got a nice piebald which works well on any coat it just makes it more unique and nice Now this one is kind of cool where it adds uh, a little bit of extra uh, fur texture, I suppose. They're like highlights. Um, and if you make a skin that doesn't really have much in the way of detail, using this marking can really make it stand out really well. Got some more beautiful textures, which again, can be any color you want. I think this one's a gazelle. Now we have some cool tribal markings, some hearts, which I'll make red. Uh, I'll actually, I'll actually be right back. And then there's some stars, and then we'll go back to the blank texture. Now, as Shades is showing right now, you can make your deer have all these different colors on all of their markings, and you can do that by selecting here and changing the color or just changing the marking itself. Um, you can have very unique marks. You can use left and right and front and back. And you can just be a complete rainbow if you want. It's really cool. You can, you can make anything that you want. You can make your deer into anything. Now, let's say that you've, you've modded your deer. You're like, okay, cool, but I'm not... I don't, I don't want these markings anymore. I can't get them off. So you'll select fur markings and then you'll hit reset and it will clear your markings completely off of you. Same with your fur base. If you have a skin that you don't want to wear anymore, you're going to hit reset and it's going to reset it to the default skin. Now you have the eye textures and there's a lot of them actually. Um, I like them when they're full bright, but we're going to look at most of them just kind of normally without Fulbright on. Fulbright is this button up here, which will turn it on and off. You can add glow. But for right now, we're just going to look at the textures. So we had the out of the box kind of brown eye. We have a nice blue. We have a green hazel eye. We have an icy blue, which looks really cool, in my opinion, if you turn it on Fulbright. Like it's this ghostly spirit. You have albino eyes, especially if you're using the white coat and you want to be albino. This is a great eye for that. You have a nice kind of golden yellowish eye. You have the eye of Sauron, which is uh, great as full bright. You can be a demon deer. And then you have a grayscale eye, which is perfect for tinting, especially again with full bright. But that's just me being biased. Uh, you can tint it any color you want. And those are your eyes. The extras are really cool because that will change your nose and your hooves as well as the inside of your mouth. Uh, in fact, let me open my mouth real quick so we can see that nice and easy. My deer needs to clean his legs for a moment. And you hit the arrow. Now you can have kind of albino-y pink. You also have grayscale, which is perfect for tinting. And again, if you want to tint things separately, you just click where the button is and you can tint each piece separately if you want. Now, if you have antlers, um, the antlers will as well uh, respond to the hood. You have the normal color for the antlers and then you have um, a kind of blood stained one where you've you shaved or you've shed your velvet off your antlers so it leaves a little bit of blood or you've just murdered someone whichever one is up to you um, so there's that there are many different uh, combinations that you can do in the customization hood um, and you can make your own skins from what is provided in the developer kit which is found inside the extras box but we'll look into that in just a moment we're going to look at the alpha HUD and explain that shortly. Uh, many human avatars are very used to alpha HUDs, and that just allows you to alpha out sections of your avatar. 
So right now I have whole parts on, but if I turn whole parts off, I can section out pieces of my avatar. So let's say I've made a shirt and for some reason I can't get it to stop clipping. Or if I just want to remove a body part entirely, I can just alpha it out easily this way. It's also really easy to alpha out a tail if you're going to replace your tail. You just get rid of it that way. You can alpha out your ears very easily and it will leave this nice little stub so you can have a head without ears. You can make some sort of alien deer and not have to worry about having a gaping hole uh, in your head because you've removed your ears. There's a hide all button and a show all button which makes it very easy as well as left and right. So if you only want to have uh, one leg showing you can easily do it that way. There's the setting menu, which is just kind of basic stuff. Uh, you have your talk sound, which you can turn on and off, which will give you a talking sound when you type. There's idle animations. There's idle twitches. Here's the setting where you can turn off whether or not you bark with someone. Um, so I, if I don't want to join in the whole barking thing. I can just turn that off. You can turn off your talk animation and you can turn on and off speed mode. Now normally when you're on the ground Second Life avatars have two speeds. You have your walk and your run but with TWI you get the option of speed mode where you can run a little bit faster than a normal human avatar uh, by galloping uh, which is really nice and a little bit more realistic I think because deer can run faster than people. Now, since I did mention not too long ago about making your own skins, we're going to get into that super quick with the extras box. The extras box is in your folder. You can res it on the ground, drag and drop. You can open it, and it will copy it all to your inventory in a new folder. There's a lot of stuff in there. You have the de developer materials, which has like a texture dummy, a texture plier, a note card with everything you need, different shapes, different antlers. Uh, it has different feet, like reindeer feet, a different tail, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, nose clickies. Um, if I remove my antlers, for example, I can show you the follow deer antlers. Um, and let me just change the texture real quick so it all matches. There you are. You have the really cool antlers. There's a whole bunch of different antlers. Uh, and they all will, of course, do the rattle sound as well, which is very nice. Shades is going to demonstrate the uh, mule deer, or not mule deer, uh, reindeer uh, hooves, which are included. So you can be Santa's helper with the reindeer antlers as well. Very cool. There's also a female version of the reindeer antlers because all reindeer do have antlers, which I think is a very nice touch. Now, uh, we talked about movement as well. Uh, the deer has two different walks and it has a couple of different runs. It has a nice crouch animation as Shades is demonstrating and I'm going to cam on her and let her show off the different animations, the AO animations. So right now she is crouching. Now there's the crouch walk where you're sneaking around. We got the normal walk animation. We've got a nice little trot. And we've got the default run animation, which banks upon turning, which is a very nice feature that I'd love to see more avatars have. It has uh, the run animation without the banking as well, in case the banking makes you feel a little bit sick. 
uh, there is a set you can turn that off in the animation menu with the different runs. And then of course you have the pronking animation where the deer is running and it's saying, hey, Mr. Wolf, look at me. I am so strong and so fit that I can exert all this extra energy while you're chasing me. So it's not even worth it. Deer has a beautiful jumping animation. And of course the flying, we got hovering. And then as she runs through the air, like one of Santa's reindeer. Absolutely beautiful. All right. So those are the basic AO animations for the deer, uh, the movement at least. Uh, but yeah, so when it comes to the deer, I would say that it is by far, for now at least, this can always change, the best TWI avatar that there is right now. Um, it's... They're all very well made, they're all beautiful, but the deer just is amazing. Uh, and that's just, that's not me just being biased. I think that the, he, the creator has learned a lot over the years and the deer kind of puts everything that he's learned to the test and it all came together very well. So if I had to rate it, I would give it five stars out of five stars, for sure. It's very nice. Um, there's a lot of little secrets in there uh, and a lot of features that, you know, it would take me hours to cover everything. Um, so I highly re recommend you purchase it if you haven't already, or at least consider it. Um, you can find it on the marketplace, as I mentioned before, or you can come in world, as I mentioned again. Uh, Silent Hills is the sim. There are size mods that you can purchase once you own the avatar. And there's a huge mall where other people have created tons of mods and add-ons and all sorts of cool things uh, for this avatar that you can purchase as well. Um, the dev kit, again, is in the extras box. And you can make your own stuff very easy. It's a very easy to modify avatar. Uh, and you can do a lot with it. So anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Um, at least make a decision of whether or not this avatar is for you. Uh, I know the price seems a little bit high, but on Second Life, when you purchase an avatar, you do not normally get this many features as these avatars will give. So definitely worth the price. And once you purchase one, you're, you're kind of, you fall in love with them. So anyways, that's it for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and you stay safe and I will see you guys next time.